questions. So I just wanted to share with you something I'd shared in the first class, which is continuing to connect to our moon energy and pretty much all of us here is that divine feminine. It says women are, this is from my teacher's book, uh, Healing Magic by Robin Rose Bennett. Women are reclaiming our intimate personal connection with the rhythms, rhythms of the moon because our greatest personal freedom depends upon it. Self-knowledge as women reminds us that the truths of the moon mirror the truths of our bodies, which mirror the truths of our minds, hearts, spirits, and lives. For the moon begins as dark and grows to fullness, and then it disappears into total darkness again. For women too need time in the dark to replenish ourselves, and we will continue to hide our true self, or we will continue to hide our true self and withhold our most profound gifts. We sleep in the dark. It's where we dream and re replenish ourselves. Even our ideas need time to incubate, to germinate in the dark before coming out to the light of day. We think of light white as life and dark black as death. Yet we form in the dark before we are born. And we come into the light, often it's said, at the time of our death. So this idea of healing with moon energy. So right now we're in that moon energy that's moving into the dark moon right so new moon is coming Monday but it's really important to start to notice when that moon starts to lose her light it's feeding us it's filling us and then once it's time to give back to that moon energy we become that dark energy and we give back to the light it's this constant ebb and flow super beautiful right so this is what I want to work on today is just really regaining that intuitive, that place where the dark moon is so full of the seeds of life and the seeds of action that are necessary for us right now. So go ahead and bring your hands together, rub your hands together. Settle your palms at your heart. And just for a moment, Feel yourself being full and filled with the light of the moon as she empties out and becomes dark. And then in response and relationship with the moon, we give back. As she then becomes full and we become dark. A dark place which is so beautifully full of potential. Feel yourself being bathed. We get so used to being bathed in the sunlight, the radiance of the sun. But bathe in this moon that's streaming into you. It's filling you. Start with all namo, go to dev namo. your hands down to your lap. Repeat after me. Akure no me. Akure no me. Sadkure no me. Sadkure no me. Adkure namay. Adkure namay. Jugadkure namay. Jugadkure namay. Sadkure namay. Sadkure namay. 
Siri Guru Devay Namay. Siri Guru Devay Namay. Aad Guru Namay. Aad Guru Namay. Jugaad Guru Namay. Jugaad Guru Namay. Sad Guru Namay. Sad Guru Namay. Siri Guru Devay Namay. Siri Guru Deva Namay. Siri Guru Deva Namay. Deep breath in, draw the navel and squeeze and lift the pelvic floor. Get nice and tall, you guys. And then exhale the breath. Begin to catch and cow here. I will have some music for us at some point during the class, but for here, if you'd like to turn on your music, you're welcome to do that. Cats and cow, arch and curl, either seated or on your hands and knees. Move your spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in the light of the moon. The moon slowly fills up and then steadily pours forth her magical silver light, emptying herself to begin again. For she shares her gifts and then takes a few days to herself before beginning to shine again. Right? We think of the full moon and the new moon, but the dark moon is the time that we take to replenish ourselves. She shows us how to gather and share and conserve energy, dying and being reborn. For the moon is a mirror for each of us, for the cycles of our lives, shape-shifting our lives. So we're going into dark moon the next couple of days, and then into new moon. Something so simple to do, right, is to take a glass of water, Put it out in the dark moon and then drink that water, make a cup of tea with that water, or to gather some herbs on dark moon night. So beautiful. All of that energetics is feeding us, right? So simple. Okay, go a little quicker, a little quicker. Move that spine a little quicker. Good. 30 seconds left. Beautiful. Inhale forward. Exhale, come on to your seat if you came up. Bring your hands onto your shoulders, thumbs point back, four fingers in the front. Inhale left, exhale right. So you're seated for this. Yep, there you go. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. It's just called warm ups, right? I have a moon Kriya for us. Have a meditation to heal all sickness, and I also have a meditation going into the sacred cave of you. Got a lot to do, so go, go, go here. Maybe your mind is saying "sat" as you turn left, "nam" as you turn right.
One minute more, keep going. You need to extend your legs, extend your legs. Don't be unhappy here. How do we find a place that we connect to the nature of ourselves? And the easiest avenue that I have found is connect with nature and let her show you its magic, her magic. I was reading Robin's book yesterday and she was saying how that there was a couple of nights when she first started doing this kind of work, green witch work, that she couldn't sleep all night because she wanted to make sure she'd see the last star disappear. Good, come center. Keep your hands where they are. Inhale. Keep your hands where they are. Exhale. And then inhale, lift elbows up and down. Good, inhale up. Hold the navel and squeeze and lift the pelvic floor. Get really tall, squeeze your spine here. And release those hands down. Okay, lay on your back, because this is Jen's favorite. Lay on your back. Stretch pose is a must, right? Yogi Bhajan says do every single day. Point your toes, bring your arms alongside the body. Thank you, Joanne, for letting me see you that you're really gonna do it. Other people have come out of my view. Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just know if you're not in my view, you might just lay there this whole time. Okay, point your toes, arms alongside the body. Lift your feet just two inches off the floor, maybe three. Point your toes, lift your head up. Look towards your toes, lift your arms up. Begin breath of fire. Arms a little bit lower, cat. There you go. Pump that navel. Great, Angela has her, has her hands underneath her butt. That's another way. Hands behind your head, that's another way. One foot down is another way but don't give up twenty seconds you guys you got this don't stop your fire center balancing that moon energy that cool moon energy you got this, you got this, you got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Inhale. Exhale, release. Relax. Relax. Completely relax. And before we start the moon kriya, hug your knees into your chest. And maybe either one knee at a time or both knees together, do a little spinal twist and maybe draw your right knee and extend your left leg. Take your right knee over to the left and then change it up, go the other direction. Little spinal twist. You can change sides or stay on one side for a little longer.
And then when you feel pretty equal in both sides, roll up and down on your spine. Good, and come on up to sit. So one of the things about the moon energy is it gives us energy, right? So if we are feeling tired, very tired, the moon energy, you know, in the Yoga Sutras of Atanjali, it says something that you wish to really understand the wisdom, place your full mind and breath there, right? So meditate on the moon, on the, meditate on the dark moon, meditate on the new moon, meditate on the full moon and all of its opportunities to see yourself in it and that will reveal the wisdom so this is a super easy i love this one it's also for opportunity and prosperity but you're going to hit your pinky finger and then turn it and hit your, your pointer finger so you're really getting a nice little knock of two sides and you're going to do that right in front of your chest and then you're going to add the sound of ha and har is that name of that god or love or deep love or universal um, energy flowing. So it's going to look like this, hot, 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 hot. And your navel is going to pull in as well. And your tongue's going to try to hit the roof of your mouth on that hot, 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 hot. So it's a lot that you're putting together, but you can do this and we'll do it for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to start with you, but I know that I'm going to back out of it only because I think the delay might confuse you, but I'll start with you and then I'll leave you to do it on your own and I'll give you some help as you're going. Okay? So, ha, 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 ha. Keep going. Keep going. Gaze into your third eye. Make sure you really hit those points. Not to hurt yourself, but hit them to feel them. H-J-R. Keep going. Stream in the moon energy. Feel it as it feeds you and fills you and as it empties you. Don't let your mind wander here. Stay with the moonlight as a radiant light, feminine light, intuition. Experience yourself as a shapeshifter. In any moment, what is needed from you. In any moment, you're placed in a place that is necessary for you to be. Trust this. Gaze into the third eye. Keep gathering yourself inward. Not only a moon kriya, but a kriya for prosperity. If your mind wanders, the only thing I wanted to wander to are your dreams, what you wish for yourself, your family, the world. Your mind can only wander to your greater visions. 
Keep going, you got this. Build it up inside of you, the power inside of you. Have you ever, ever thought of the sun or the moon not being powerful? Have you ever thought, boy, that sun and that moon are being real wimps? No. So see yourself to be that radiant streaming light of the moon that must move into the dark phase, that must empty. See yourself just like that. And see the moon as it fills you as she empties and then you return back to her that energy. And she'll take her break and you'll take your break. Keep going, you guys. Under three minutes. Gaze into the third eye. Less than two, bring it on. You are the sun, you are the moon, you are the galaxies. One minute, you guys. Feel the power that you have built here. Feel the power that you have built. 
You cannot deny how this practice makes us feel. Power of the moon. Now you're going to keep moving the hands, but inhale, hold your breath. Keep moving the hands. Inhale, hold your breath. Keep moving the hands. Exhale. Keep moving the hands. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, release the hands down and feel, eyes closed. What you wish to know from the moon, meditate. Samyama, completely absorb your mind, your breath, your whole body. Become the dark moon, the new moon, stages of the moon. Gain her divine wisdom. Move into child's pose, please. You can always take a little twist over to your right side, stretching your left side body. Go to the other side. Then come back onto your hands and knees before we come into our meditation, spiraling into our inner wise woman. Come back onto your hands and knees, little cat and cow here. If before we sit again, that you would like to stretch your right leg out and then bring the knee toward the nose, you're welcome to do that. You need a little bit more stretch. I know some of you took class earlier. You can always bring one knee in and one knee out and then change, maybe hip circles, just because you'll be seated again. Good, make sure you have time to do both legs. If you were doing the version of stretching the leg back. Your hips circling, make sure you circle the other way. Good. And then when you're ready, come back and take a seat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you in a guided meditation down into a spiral within yourself as a sacred, to find your sacred your sacred wise woman 
And then we're going to hear Josh is going to sing a little bit about that idea of meeting yourself for the first time. Like, how do you do? And then we're going to go into Satnam from there. So I'll talk you through, but that's the way it's going to look. So close your eyes once you're ready. Uh, I'm going to do the guided meditation first, but soon. Close your eyes. If you love this meditation like I do, get uh, Robin Rose Bennett's Healing Magic book. It's right in there. So close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breathing. Simply observe your breath flowing in and flowing out gently and rhythmically, like the waters of the ocean lapping up against the shores as our moon energy helps that to happen. Just relax, allow your breath, not making anything happen or anything change. Let your breath naturally begin to slow and deepen. Open to let the breath of life breathe you. Make sure you adjust yourself in any way to make sure you're comfortable. I would say lay down, but we're going to go into Satnam, so better to stay seated. But now look and you will see inside of yourself, there's a beautiful spiral path that goes up and down the center of yourself the center of your being. It is your unique spiral path and it can be made of anything, stones or tree roots, water, rainbow, light. Whatever it's made of, step onto your personal spiral path in perfect love and perfect trust and find yourself beginning to spiral effortlessly down and around and inward down and around and inward, down and around and inward, traveling toward your own sacred cave of inner wisdom. Spiral down toward the center of yourself, capital F, down into the womb of the earth, with the ancient blue-green mother of all of us, down, around, and in. Traveling down, spiral round toward your own sacred cave and inner wisdom. Down, around, and in. See the spirals. I want you to come as far down the spiral as you will come for now. Your cave is a vast inner space with so many chambers and entrances and exits, but for now, find yourself at an entrance to your sacred cave. Go inside. There's a feeling of something very familiar here. It feels like home. Breathe in home. Allow home to fill your heart, mind, body, and soul. This is your sacred space, your sacred cave of inner wisdom. This cave is yours and it looks however your cave will look. Just like the moon, it can be light, it can be dark. It may have rocky or moss covered. There may be water in your cave, a spring, a lake, a river. There may be crystals in the walls. Maybe furnished or empty. It's your cave. Take your time and enjoy the sights, the sounds, and the smells, and the textures and tastes. How does the air in your cave taste? Do you hear sounds or is it silent? What is the ground like under your feet? How does it feel? Are you barefoot? 
Are there plants in your cave or trees, animals or birds? For your wise woman lives in this cave. And you begin to become aware of her presence now. Whether you see her or feel her, whether she looks like someone you know or you, or even has no form at all. You know her by the sense of absolute love and compassion that she has for you. She knows you through and through. She loves your strengths and weaknesses and secrets and shames without question. She is wise beyond words. She's glad you've returned here to be with her, to call on her. She can and will help you with anything. But first, open yourself to receive the deeply compassionate love that flows from her to you. Drink it in. Let it nourish all the places in you that have been hurt, hidden or unwelcome. Let this unconditional acceptance heal the rejection you've suffered from others and from yourself. See, there's no conditions to be met here. Allow yourself to receive this love as fully as you can. It is enough just to be. It is enough just to be. It is enough just to be. over the top of your head, interweave your palms, point your finger up, reach up. Sit nam, 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 sit. Now, eyes in and up to the third eye. Sit, 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 sit,
Nam set 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 Nam keep going meet yourself set Nam set For a moment, can you feel your wise woman touching you right on your third eye? Know that you would always return here again and again. Thank your wise woman. Say goodbye in any way that feels right to you. And let her go back into that sacred space where she lives. And make your way out through the cave, traveling the same route that you took to come in. Enjoy each step along the way as you be connect with this home ground that you hold yourself so dear. Go out the same opening through which you enter the cave. Step back onto the spiral path in perfect love and perfect trust. Find yourself traveling effortlessly up the spiral path, spiraling up, around, and outward. Up, around, and outward. Up through Mother Earth, slowly spiraling up, around, and out to the surface. You feel your essence come spiraling up through the surface of the Earth, re-entering your body through the bottoms of your feet, and returning to each and every cell of your body. When you feel ready, you can lie on your back and rest.
And then begin to deepen your breath here, please. If you're lying down, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe take your spinal twist here. If you're seated, feel free to take a spinal twist as well. So we're going to do a mirror of Ramadasa, Sase Sohang. I'm going to play for you the chant that Josh and Jordan did. So you'll have it in the background. But our job here is to place our right hand on top of our left hand and then bring our thumbs to touch. So my right thumb lays on top of my left thumb. My right palm on top of my left and my right thumb on top of my left. Does that make sense? And then bring that to your heart. And then your job is gonna to be to inhale. Ramadasa sase so hung. And then begin again. I'm gonna have the music playing in the background just so you have extra little Ramadasa going. Tell me if you can hear that. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so here we go. You're going to, when you're ready, inhale. Ramadasa Sasi Soham. Ramadasa Sasi Soham. Ramadasa Sasi Soham. Keep going. Just another minute or two, keep breathing in. Full breath out. Deep breath in, releasing your hands down, 
Coming into silent meditation. Feel the earth, the moon, the stars, and you. Living so peacefully together. Feel yourself as the moon, as it wanes and as it waxes. And bring your hands together at your heart center. We'll call it a long sat nam. Inhale. Sat nam. Letting your hands to the space between the eyebrows, that numb. Good job, you guys. Beautiful work. How do you feel? Pretty damn good. I feel a little stoned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering what you've shifted in me this week, Cheryl. You tell me. <laughs> you, you, you sit with that. You let me know, Joanne. Cheryl, I planted a moonflower about a week or so ago, and it's all like coming up. Um, I wonder what moonflower is. Well, um, it's supposed to actually, the flowers are supposed to open up with the moonlight. So I've never heard of that. That's fabulous. You'll take a picture for me. Beautiful, you guys. Come tonight to Kirtan if you can, or tomorrow night, 730. I can't wait to share with you that Satnam will be in it. Um, and another ver that version of Ramadasa will be in it. So many other surprises too. So come and join us tonight if you can, or tomorrow night. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> always sad to leave. Oh, <laughs> I. It's always good. I'll have. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, beautiful boy.